This video goes over the comparisons and differences between Cameo EA 2019 and Cameo EA 2021X and gives examples of the simulation toolkit. So what we're seeing here on the left side of the screen, we have Cameo EA 19, and on the right side, we have Cameo Enterprise Architecture 2021X. So this is the newer version on the right side and the older version on the left side. The, the same document or project has been pulled up on the, both the left and the right side of the screen. And here we're seeing the same um, diagram and we're going to run both of them in simulation. So right here we've got uh, a constraint between number of magazines that are in the office to the number of minutes you'll have to wait for the doctor. And uh, so we'll add that we count 22 magazines and we'd have to work, wait 33 minutes. And there's no, uh, nothing happens on the diagram itself. But over here in 2021X, if I put in this, it, it still spits out the number, but you can see that the number is on the screen. So if I change this to 20 magazines, hit enter, it will update here as well. So that's for the parametric diagram and what I'm going to do is just go through all these diagrams across the top. The next one that we're going to go over is an activity diagram. So very, very simple. And I'll hit run for this. I'll hit run for this. And um, we'll hit run here. We'll hit run here. Oh, it was asking me a question. So, and this is the other side of the house. This is the speed bar. Uh, you can see that they are slightly different. So you can see the token flow through here. That's what that red circle is. While here you don't have that, it just kind of tells you where it is. But the token is very helpful um, when you have multiple tokens at once when you're using a, a fork horizontal or fork, fork vertical or join where you need to see those tokens and it's really helpful to help you troubleshoot. So now uh, I'll use the logic, yes, I will complete the race and it, it goes to completion there. So moving on to the oscillating fan, this is a state machine and both of these actually behave very similarly. So push play here, push play down here. And then we'll switch it, we'll plug it in. And then we will turn it to low speed. And you can see, and we'll add static. So they, they're very similar in what they look like. It, it is a little bit confusing because the green is telling you where it's from. Well, so they, they changed the outlook here. So it, at the end of the day, this one would be in powered, low, low speed, and static states. So that's that. This is the old, this is the new. We're moving on, we have a sequence diagram. And I will play that sequence diagram. So this is what it's supposed to look like. You say, is the line less than four? You say yes, and then it jumps into this loop. Like that. And we'll just say it is equal to four. Now it would be greater than four. So now it's over. So it goes through, and it, it actually asks the user these questions right here. Um, the, the 2019 doesn't have that ability. It's, it's actually looking for a, the variable line and if it equals or is less than four values. So it actually, it automatically just fails. Execution is terminated and it says line is not defined. So basically if you had line defined somewhere, which is probably going to be your next step in, in this sort of thing because like I was just counting in my head what what line we're on, um, and and putting the logic yes no by that, 
So basically the next step would be to create this variable that would be called line and have it iterate. Um, but you know, basically in this 20, 2019, it doesn't have that ability. It just kind of fails while you saw in 2021 X, it was able to ask the user these questions. All right, moving on. Um, this is the last example. So this, this, these quick examples were made in 2021 X and we're just opening them back up in 2019. So you can kind of go through the containment tree here and see where the X's are to see where errors occurred. And we're not going to go through all of them, but uh, really we're just going to go through this one right here, which is just like we, we created this uh, generic table. And then when we tried to open it up in 2019, we, we weren't able to see the table. And you can kind of go into the details here and it will, it will show you where there's a problem. Um, and, and so you could do that for, for all of the other ones with, with X's on them. So all this to say is it will tell you where the problems lie if you're opening them up into a previous version. And um, it, it normally has to do with, with tables and um, stuff like that. So like if I look into the, like this is the metrics table that has the problem. Uh, this is the generic table that has the problem. These are the like ICD white box tables that are they're really the issue there. So that's, that's really what I want to show. Um, Again, just comparing Cameo Enterprise Architecture 2019 to Cameo EA 2021X. Thank you.